T, what are the week? reads for the week, man? The reads of this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you reading this week? All right. Let's start over here. All right. You got to be in the Ultimate Universe. You got to be reading Ultimate yeah. Spider-Man if you are. Excellent it's Ultimate choice. Spider-Man 6 with the Kingpin Spider-Man cover. Nice. Which one? Cover A? Cover B? That Wait. is cover A. This is cover B. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Kingpin with with, with uh, tribal tattoos. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. And then that's what, uh, is that a second print or third print? This is print? the third print of issue three. Three, three. They're reprinting all the initial covers for issue one. So everyone got that. Uh, they're up to, I guess this is... I thought it was superior. I don't know which Spider-Man this is, but it's the one with the claw. Yeah, from the video games too. Um, oh, Red Sonya, Empire of the Dam, number three. Now it's a cover grab or a read. Definitely cover grab. This is a Josh Middleton. Well, I mean, it could be a good read too, but I, I, I haven't read. It. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey. There's a Virgin foil. There's a Virgin cover. I ordered a couple of versions. Is that the milk variant? <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Back to the reading. <laughs> Blood Hunt Jubilee, number one. This is a good read because if you know your X-Men history, you know Jubilee used to be a vampire. And yep. She's not mm -hmm. a vampire because Krakoa revived her and now she's not a vampire anymore, but maybe she's back to being a vampire. Is that a Momoko? Come this here. is a Peach Momoko. And then what about, and then if you want to go offshoot, because Marvel has a, this Uncle Scrooge, Uncle Scrooge and the Infinity Dime. <laughs> it's like a, it's, a, it's a brilliant title. That's a great title. Yeah. It's like a million covers. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, this is by Jason Aaron. Jason Aaron is oh. one of my favorite writers of all time. So this is an ongoing series? It's, I'm or a one pretty shot? Sure, no, it's not a one shot. I'm pretty sure it is a, like a mini series. Okay. So now talk to me, T-Rex, about this homage to Amazing Spider-Man oh, number one. Because I'm going to buy it just because I think it's a cool cover. That is a beautiful cover. Let's yeah, see if I could spot who did the cover. Right, let's see it. Let's go on soon. Did you read this one? No. Is that no? number two? Very no, this covers. is number one. It's no, one of these guys. Homage one? cover by Paulo Sicaria and Rachel Rosenberg. One? That's nope. They did this one. Okay. That's a dope one. Yeah. I'm not reading separation anxiety right now so i don't know what this is but i do know venom war is coming in the next few months venom war so for the homage cover because it's a uh, the spider-man one you, you say it. cheeks cheeks no. cheeks no cheeks no yeah that's, that's must cop must cop. i think this is a cop i agree i agree Can I buy this one Here's a read book of the week oh destro yes sir yes. destro part of the energon uh, universe by image I love, yeah. I love everyone's foil. favorite Cobra arms dealer. Oh, foil. Can't wait to read that one. <laughs> nice. Also, I like shiny Spectagraph cover. number two by uh, Tynion. So Issue one was great. Tynion. Distillery's killing it with their titles. Can't go wrong with that. Nice. What's going on, guys? T-Rex here. We are at the Collective here in Altamont Springs. We are showing off our books for today. Uh, I did a little pickup for the past week and a half, so let's show you what I got. First thing, shout out to the Black Supernova. We got the Spider-Man Life Story 60s. It's one of the best stories you can read about Spider-Man. Now everyone's picking up the Sanford Green Doom, but I went old school, but new school. The last Doctor Doom story before that. This is issue one. The pickup of this week, the cover I like the most, we're going with Batman 149. This is the Delato cover. Bane giving Batman the business as usual. So as everyone knows, Scotty Young is doing like 15 million covers right now. But if you go Miles Morales, you always got to pick up the Scotty Young Miles. Because you got to show love for Miles Morales. And it was hot for the past few months. It'll be hot forever. Um, we're going old school, but new school again. This is X-Men 92. Got the whole squad on the cover. 
Who's this by again? I forget. Who's this by? Oh, yeah, it's David Nakayama, as usual. Always killing it on the covers. And continuing with the X-Men. So this came out of the PC. But this is the beginning of the House of X Krakoa storyline. This is the, the mutants when they came to power and they was whooping ass for years on Earth. But unfortunately, all good things come to an end. This is the X-Men 35. This is the end. The beginning, the end. And I also had to get the cover A, X-Men. R.I.P. to the Krakoa age. And those are my pickups for the past week. Been on this kick for my 340s. Okay. Got the 90. Completes, completes the nines for me. So I got a 98, 96, 94, 92, and now a 90 newsstand. So I'm happy to get this in the collection. Okay. Complete that. I'm getting some X Men runs, so got to have a 201. Nice. Okay. In the collection. Okay. Ooh, there we 212. go. 212. I love this cover. Got a good deal on it, so I had to pick this up. 212, X Men 212. So trying to get some of those, two, those 200s. Oh, man. Scrap Iron first appearance, G.I. Joe 43, Incredible, incredible cover. Oh. Great cover. Great cover. Got a good deal on this, so I'll scoop that up. Oh, Big one right here. G.I. Joe, number one. Got to thank another heroes for picking this up. Where did yes, that sir. one come from? Yes, sir. It's fresh from Heroes Con. Fresh from yep. Heroes Con. Fresh from Heroes, so got a good deal on it. That is a so, this was your twenty. This was on your list for twenty twenty four. This was on the list. Always upgrade your books, guys. That's what I preach. I had a nine four. Now I moved up nine eight. So I'm very happy about this. Here. This is a this is a good pickup for the. Oh, you got oh. I got a little. Oh wait, bit. yo, you in your bag today? Yeah. Oh, oh quarter of hours. Quarter of hours. I've been looking for this book. So happy I got a nine eight. So, great book to have in the collection. We'll see what they do with this group in the future. What was Spider-Man 32? Yes. 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 Incredible story. Yeah. Great cover. That's one of my favorite Even covers. Even better yeah. story. Very nice. The story is incredible. For real. ASM 265. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, it ain't. Okay. Silver Sable. Yeah. This book doesn't one get the eight, love it deserves. Yeah. And the last book, but not least, Hulk 345 and the 9.8. Oh, but but who, so, did, who did that one? McFarlane. Thank you. Yeah. I just, I just want to make sure they know. So, <laughs> that was the pickups. Nice pickups, man. Heroes, yeah. let's get it. Let's go. Yo, family, what's up? It's your boy, 4M Comics. I'm back in the building, back from traveling the world. Let's show what I picked up a little bit here and there. So first off, I got to show off this crazy something's killing the children. This book right here is one that I could not let pass. So picked this up from Dallas when I was out and about by my man Gian, but this is amazing. I just love it, I just love it, just love it, just sick. Well, what else, what else did we grab? Also, another foil variant, uh, with buried beneath the trees, something beneath the trees, who's, who's, who's underneath the trees? That's the end of it, right? Bodies. Just bodies, just literally bodies, literally. You, you haven't read this. But this is that foil variant. Uh, I got to meet uh, the author, the author, writer, creator, Mr. Harbaugh. So awesome guy, awesome book, just crazy. Now, something that I'm super proud of as I got to work with the team, it's my man, Mr. David Nakayama, on this exclusive uh, facsimile, facsim, facsim, you know the word, okay? Yes, I can't pronounce it, but that word, that's it. Uh, but also not only signed by David, but also signed by the voice of Rogue herself. So definitely, definitely love this and super proud of it and excited for it. So thank you. And then finally, that Edge of Venom verse, also another sick book. So gotta love it, gotta love it. That Greg Horn variant right there, just sinister. That's, that's but, the cover of the year contender right there. Yeah. That's right there. the cover of the year contender. Just, just love the, the variants and the foils. But that's my short run. That's the pickup. I'm back in the building, back hanging out with the guys, Heroes After Dark. This is what we do, baby. Hey, what's up, man? This Alex is letting y'all know what I picked up this week, these past couple of weeks. Got some nice ones. 
Got the Punisher, 59. Got the steel. Are these cover grabs or are you trying to collect for the PC? What? This is all, this is all, everything I'm finna show you is PC. All right. It's 100% PC. I cut, and majority of these I caught for the dollar. Oh, nice. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> definitely caught this for the dollar. Ooh. Oh. And this, this one got hot yeah, recently. It's hot. It's, hot. it's definitely right. hot now. I got this one. I had to get his first appearance. He came out with a, uh, a new run. Uh -huh. What's his name again? Thrasher. Thrasher, yes. yes. But um, I was like, instead night of getting... Thrasher. Yeah, Night Thrasher. Exactly. Yeah, nighttime, not the daytime one. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But then I was just like, you know what? Let me get his first appearance instead of, you know, getting that one. You know what I mean? I can wait for the trade to drop. Right, right, right. But then I had to get the hey, Jubilee. There you go. Every time I see it, I got to grab it. And then this is the first time I seen these in pristine. And I had to grab them. Boom. These are flawless. No, no, no. Oh, I got a few. I got a few. You got a few? I'll go after you. Whoa. You <laughs> can't put that on YouTube. Oh. You got That's why it's backwards. <laughs> This <laughs> man. You have to edit that one out. That GI Joe is fire. We don't edit anything. Nah, we don't edit anyone for him. All the disgusting things you're doing. This is Red Five going through his personal stash. Only no, these are T Rex. This is T Rex's. <laughs> it's infamous. <laughs> Only this is this is T Rex's. <laughs> T Rex is the Yeah, that that's a T Rex book right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Oh, Yo, that's gonna be crazy. Jen Bartel. I'm gonna have to get one. Yeah, not even. You ready? You ready to unpack? So, give me the mic. That's Pedro's book right there. <laughs> this is comic lore. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> comic lore on Instagram. This is his favorite book. <laughs> give a shout out. Give a shout out. <laughs> I I already had multiple copies in my hands. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yours truly matches Malone. So we'll kick it off with some modern books. One in 50, Miles Morales 3, First Snatcher. Oh, that's a Blu-ray movie, huh? Oh, yeah, this is a Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray. Blu so, so something for modern, because I know there's some conversations about we don't like modern books. I do love modern books. However, bronze is where I'm at. So next up, classic Neil Adams cover. Classic battle, Ra's al Ghul, Batman, and of course, the incredible Kiss panel. So a lot of conversations about Kiss covers, but you don't have a Kiss panel by Neil Adams. So, so this one was a little bit different. Once you get into the seven, five and up, that's where you see some value in these books. Investment book? Invest, absolutely. Neil Adams, 100% investment books. The Green Lan Lantern covers, there's several Neil Adams covers. Batman is some of his best work. This is one of the well-known covers. So iconic image uh, for investment, seven, five and up on this, you cannot go wrong. So just something nice, a little bit of modern, a little bit of, a little bit of bronze. So there you go. We no, got our very it, own, no, get it. When fresh from Carolina. I'll give you money Went to go see Michael Jordan. Covers turn, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Heroes Con. You have your stamp card? All right. Yeah. So we got Heroes Pickups. Yes. Yes. So we'll start. The only raw book I picked up the whole show was my, what I, I like to call it the Disney cover. Okay. So, so you went Golden Age. Right. No, I went just a little bit. But this is but the, uh, the Disney five. executive then, cover. So just so, a slight. <laughs> the only raw. I'm so mad about the actual. I'm just putting <laughs> All right. But that's a very famous Crime Does Not Pay cover. All right. And I got one other Golden Age book. And this is the classic. Overdose book. Oh, Stay away from drugs, kids. Learn from watching you, Dad. All right. All right. What do we got next? So we, right. we did a little golden age. Are we still in golden age? Mm, no, we'll jump. We're gonna go. Let me let me start this here. So so I did do. So the question is, if you're if you're liking golden age horror, what happens when you get to silver age and bronze age horror? Are those keys gonna pick up? And I think there is a. I think there's a little bit of a pickup in those. So I picked up Tomb of Dracula number one. Oh. Congratulations. Now, this book has been tumultuous for a little bit. It is. Because people it. love it, and then they don't want to deal with Marvel Marvel horror. Um, and now it's picked back up. It's white pager. So I think this has potential. I think, I think if Marvel decides to go the route of horror, and they actually do it, like they sub it out to one of their non-Disney companies, maybe they'll 
now good I mean, job. but what about the competition you got universal doing dracula or that didn't tinian just have a new dracula but book? i don't think they they don't own that stuff so i that's a good question what happens yeah but i got one more i picked up where uh the marvel spotlight first werewolf by night oh. and there's a little bonus at the top if you read who it was signed by Neil Adams signed on front cover. It's a Neil Adams sort of <laughs> evening tonight. <Real. laughs> Thank you. I, I, that's the name for today. That's the artist of the day. So Are you, you can resubmit it. I don't. Well, it would be that yellow label with the black bar, right? Yeah, which is pretty. Which I wish it was a blue label with the black bar. I, I if it was. You don't like, like the wait because of the signature series. I vibe? hate the yellow. I hate the yellow. So see, I love the yellow. But I like it when it says who signed it on the on that. So this one, this one, I got a pretty good price on. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, so this one was one I tried to get my own for my own collection. I kept getting nine fours, so I went ahead and bought the nine eight and sucked it up. So first He Man, White first Skeletor, White Pager, nine eight. Finally, again another book I had some in my own collection. I kept getting nine fours and nine sixes, oh. so I went ahead and I sucked it up and I got it. No, it's off white to white on a modern, which I don't love. Yep, I agree. Yeah. But other than that, you know. Let's get rid of it already. Yeah, you, you might put it back. We don't want to do that. Well, that was the other one. And this also Incredible is book. on a low right now. So direct or newsstand? Was... Direct. Yeah. Okay. Direct. I do have a new. I have a nine four newsstand. So this is two years in a row because last year didn't you pick one? I got the nine four newsstand last year. Gotcha. So, all right, and now we'll do the run, the, the the run of Spider Man. So I did an upgrade. So this is my biggest upgrade I got. Ooh. What was the uh, previous one? No, I know. So we did a two-tenth bump. I did, but this was actually really a... F I got a great price on it. Now, were you focused solely, like... I've, I've traveled with you in the This is my main focus was all the Spideys I could get. Mm -hmm. um, there were a few I didn't yeah. like because people just weren't GPA. They were like, oh, I want 20% over GPA and I want cash. And then you go, there's five sales under GPA without cash that that means eba took a fee paypal took a fee so why am i giving you full boat so there you go so i didn't get them this one though i got under g 10 percent under gpa excellent cash Oof. and i said that was fair shout out to that boy so. <laughs> all right and then we'll kind of go so the rest of these are going to be my spideys oh i got one more i got a i got a, a miles new stand Oh, it is not a highest grade, but, but it it's was a newsstand. It's very a great book. It was a very affordable book. I got it under GPA by about fifty bucks. Nine. Oh no, it's eight oh eight oh. It's really. It's just the problem is it has one giant crease on it. Back is actually fine. It's really just this one giant crease here. And interestingly, usually it's the other way around. Yeah, you, you just see them beautiful on the front, and then yeah, the back cover you can look. There's no scuffing. I mean, it's got mild spine wear. Ta-da! So. Sounds like a lady friend. <laughs> All right, we'll jump back to the Spideys now. I'm going to try to cut these back in order. So I so I got another upgrade. ASM. And this is one of the... So it's very interesting if you go back and look how many Goblin covers there are. There's actually not a lot of Goblin covers. So this is one of the Goblin covers. And I believe it's the first Harry Osborn Goblin. I'd have to look at the label, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yep, first Harry Osborn. And interesting, right. it was just another yellow cover because you've got 120, 121, no, 122. Those are, I have those in 9 4. All right, here is another one. This is the first Cyclone. Another upgrade from, uh, I, one of these was a 9 2 and one was a 9 4 for my upgrades. Mm. And there's another one. Another special, just a kind of a cool, um, I think right, Scorpion cover. Nine six. So now, typically, when you're when you're going through looking for some of these books, you have the one main book in mind. Do you have others that are on the list, or is it focused just the one? And then if I find this icing on the cake, I want. So is it? So I want a thirty. I want to upgrade to thirty one. That was my when I went to the show. I was like, I'm looking for a thirty one. I want a nine two or a nine four. I have a nine zero, oh, and only somebody had a nine six at their not it was metropolis had like a nine six but they were like a double gpa or something off what they quoted me at, and it was at their whatever their auction houses or whatever with comic connect so i was like mm, pass. sounds great nice to meet you and 
Have moving. a nice day. <laughs> All right. Oh, I went out a little out of order. Here's the 117. I went round and round and round with the guy on this book. I, this is the only one I paid over GPA on a little bit because there was a couple low sales, but then there was a high sale. And so I think the, the high sale was 800 and the low sales were 600 and I wanted it at 625. So and average. we kind of went round and round and round. And finally I was like, you know what? It's off white, white, nine, six. I don't see these too often. I'll just go ahead and take it at 675. He Still did. He, he went, he went, he went under GPA on the other two that I got. So I was fine. So this was part of a bulk deal. It, it, if sort of, I, the bulk deal was agreed on, and then I added this in. Fair. So then these were the other ones. So I got basically a run of these higher one, higher ones. And these are all going to be nine eight white pagers. And the price on these is so dirt cheap right now. These in the in the low two hundreds, you're getting these for hundred seventy five dollars, hundred dollars, hundred twenty five dollars. I mean, during during COVID, these were like three hundred dollar books, which yeah. is why I stopped buying them. I was like, that's ridiculous. But you the know, best back covers the ripoff gang. <laughs> that's what people. <laughs> some of the art on the, the the ads on the back, incredible. But I mean, who would want to be part of the ripoff gang? I mean, nothing nothing so special about these other than I'm just trying to put the run together. So, yeah. Again, the run. It's about the run. I want to get to 300. I'm not. Some of these higher 200s. I want to get all nine eights on these. So pretty much. Anything 200 to 300 is going to be 98 or, or bust. So I have to find 98. I'll do. I don't want to do anything under off white white. Also, so white it's a little slower going. I mean, I've got probably 75 of them. Wow. So that's still pretty significant. The biggest one was obviously 300. That cost. Yeah. <laughs> that was a COVID buy. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally the last one. And I think this is the second Puma, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What's up, everybody? Uh, Red Five here, and I've got some pickups to show off. Uh, last week, I went down to Fort Lauderdale with the kids to visit some family, and we definitely did some uh, digging. There's a lot of stores down there, so we had a good time. Um, first up, I've got this uh, anthology. I love my horror books, my horror magazines, Eerie, uh, Vampirella, Creepy. This is Web of Horror from 1969. Got some nice artwork by uh, Bernie Wrightson. A lot of behind the scenes stuff. It's got the full covers and all the interiors for all four issues. So this is definitely a cool pickup. I love I love these horror books. Um, also did some box digging. Got some uh, X Men thirty sevens. The first sort of first appearance of Monet uh, from the Flanks Covenant. I love this cover. Like this comic. Got a classic George Perez. Uh, the origin of uh, Cyborg. Really nice comic here. Love that cover. X Factor number 10, the Marvel anniversary cover. For some reason, I always buy these anniversary covers whenever I see them, just because they're pretty cool. Wildcats number two. Love my Wildcats. Yeah, this is... <laughs> do that again. This is, the, uh, this is the foil cover, as you can see. There is a newsstand cover that's just a white without foil. Uh, but this is the foil. Love my 90s nostalgia. I uh, got this new X-Men Academy X, number one. This was a great X-Men series, uh, kind of like uh, Generation X, New Mutants. This was a, a new class of new, uh, new mutants. Great read if you haven't read it. Got a classic Wolverine cover here, X-Men 205. Yep, love that cover. Found a really nice... Adam Hughes, Lady Rawhide. Beautiful cover. And last but not least, got my Uncanny X-Men 274. This is another book that I pick up whenever I find it. Jim Lee, Savage uh, Land Rogue. Can't go wrong with that. Yep. Yep, Nick Fury. Yeah, this is a classic cover. I, this is probably one of my favorite X-Men covers. So I was happy to see another one of these. And uh, that's it. Those are my pickups for the week. Right no, hey, it is the Black Supernova here. I got some books to show off, some slabs. So first, I'm gonna start with one of my favorite books, one of my favorite covers, the infamous Miles Morales, number eight, iconic cover, soon to be one of the biggest, hottest covers. I know it's fairly new, it's fairly modern, but just you wait, it's gonna climb. So it's one of my favorite books. I had to show it to you guys. Now, 
the next book as everyone know i am a huge black panther fan so i had to show off my jungle action number five and a 9.2 pretty great condition i'm very very happy about this book and we're gonna keep our black panther theme going Super hard book to get in a 9.8. I have the Black oh. Panther Hip Hop Band in a 9.8. As you can see, very hard book right here. Matches Malone, one of his favorite books in a 9.8. Uh, this is a great book to have. Tough book to get in a 9.8. I see a lot of 9.6s out of there. Yeah. I had a few 9.6s. He did had have a few 9.6s. Had some 9.4s. <laughs> Has some nine twos with a 9.8 here. And here's a book I still believe in. It did not go as expected as planned, but I still love the first Ooh. appearance, Riri Williams, 9.8. Um, if you can find this book at a great price, cheap price, grab it at a 9.8. Riri is coming, man, and guess what? I'm on board. Uh, other than that, this is a great story. So if you get a chance, do read this okay no read this there's gonna be movie hype but this is a great story so make sure you tap into the riri williams uh this is an incredible iron man number nine a cover 9.8 listen it is the black supernova heroes after dark we out peace